All right, hey, hey, it's Omega here, and uh, I got another large figure shipment uh, unboxing, all right, from Ami Ami again, all right? So, hey, Omega pretty much puts in an order at Ami Ami every month, man. <laughs> so, um, I put this order in in February, uh, February 14, Valentine's Day, and, and I got it yesterday, all right, June 8th, 2023, all right? So, it took, uh, took almost like four months, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one took like uh, four months. It took a long time for it to get here, man. Yeah, um, yeah. It was. Uh, it's a. Uh, I got. I ordered February fourteenth, right? And it's March, April, May, June. Yeah, that's like four months. Almost just shy of four months. Uh, maybe like a week less than four months. Man, that took a long time. All right. And anyway, here we go. We got it. All right. So we're gonna go take a look at the box. Um, I had this shipped. All right, I had to ship Surface Mail Premium, all right? Surface Mail Premium, and it cost me 8,344 uh, yen, I think. Uh, I'll put a subtitle below what the what the conversion is. That's probably like $60, $70, somewhere around there, all right? It's not, not too bad for how many figures? One, two, three, four, five, six, for seven figures, all right? So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty much like ten dollars a figure. I could dig it. <laughs> all right, hopefully they uh, hopefully they arrived in uh, good condition. All right, so we'll go take a look at the box, and then uh, and then we'll go unbox them all, and we'll see how everything uh, turned out. So if you guys don't know how the the surface mail works, um, it comes from the Amiami store or warehouse in Japan, and then I think they put it on a ship, and the ship sales out you know and then uh, it, it takes about three or four months for it to, res uh, to to land at your port all right for in my case i believe this is it came from torrent so it probably came in the port of la all right that's probably the that's the closest port that goes to L uh, la and then it was shipped to me ups all right um yeah, so um, once it got in the country, they, they turned it over to UPS. It was exactly like it was for the last package, okay? Um, okay, well, so let's go check out the the package, all right? The, how, how, how it survived the journey here, and then we'll open it up, and hopefully none of the figures are damaged, okay? Because, um, like, a, a lot, sometimes these long figure shipments, they, you know, they don't take very good care of them. Somewhere along the way... The box gets damaged all right and this one looks a little busted up so <laughs> we'll see hopefully there's a lot of uh, packaging material in here all right all right okay we've got amelia here i just i just happened to have this shirt right here so i, I used it as a, a background but <laughs> but uh she's gonna help us um unbox amelia and puck puck isn't yeah puck is right there this is if you guys don't know this is the um this shirt has the, uh, I think that's the illustration from the very first uh, ReZero uh, light novel. Okay, so I got Mr. Knifey here. Um, we'll go open it up. But first we'll take a look at the box, okay? So let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay guys, here's the box. It's a, it's a big box like last time. Um, I think it says the size of the box. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But it says Ami Ami here, all right? It's a box made just for Ami Ami, all right? They have their custom boxes. Here's this side. Oh yeah, yeah. Any kind of damages? Yeah, there's damage right here. It's been pressed in. Something, something like hit it like right here, pretty hard. All right. The the edges, edges look okay on this one. The, this edge looks a little crunched right here. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like it got pushed in right here too. All right, just a little bit. All right. Let me, let me get a little closer to the camera. All right. Yeah. Right here, right here, and right here. Crunched in, right? I think one of the sides are crunched in too. On the, right here. Okay, here's this side. All right, please handle with care. All right, there's the symbols there. And then this is the 160 size box, all right? This side looks pretty undamaged. Maybe something like kind of pushed it in right here. It's buckling a little bit. Um, the edges right here, edges a little pushed in, but it looks okay. Okay, we got this side. Okay, 
So it looks like something hit it really hard right here. You can see this whole this whole side is buckling right here. Like like they dropped it on something, hit it hit the edge hit something really hard. Up here there's a little damage on the box right here. Okay, this side is crunched in right here. Uh what else we got? I think that's about it. This is pretty bad. It's pretty bad right here. It looks like something hit it right here and then the whole thing just just went in. All right, you can tell it's been slipping and sliding around. You know, it's dirty ass box, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then so this is the shipping label here. It says here Torrance, California. Like I mentioned, when it gets to the port LA, LA, it gets shipped to the Amiami store or warehouse in the United States, and then they ship it to me on uh, via what is it? Um, U UPS. All right, they use UPS to ship this one. Okay, you can see the UPS uh, tracking label right here. Okay, same as the other side. Looks like it got pushed in pretty bad right here. Uh, yeah, like right here. Okay, you can see it like it's being pushed in right here. Yeah, the box is not, took some damage, all right? Nothing really bad, I hope. All right, right here, looks like something hit, yeah, something hit it pretty hard right here and it, it's buckling right here, okay? And it looks like something maybe hit hit it here maybe. This is a pretty tough. This is a pretty tough box. It's really thick. They use really good boxes. So I want to say, but um, it did take some damage. Okay. Here's the top of the box. Okay. I already kind of took the labels off. Looks like something. Uh, yeah, something hit it over here. All right. I think we looked at that already. Something hit it on top here because there's like a little hole right here. But it didn't go all the way through. Um, yeah, very, very good box, as I want to say. It's very strong. All right, and then the last part is the bottom part. Okay, here's the bottom. Any damage? Mm, I think, like, here from the other side. So, this is the worst one right here. It looks like it's even, I don't know. It looks like it's been slipping and sliding on the conveyor belts a whole lot. <laughs> but for the most part, this one is okay. I think from the, something hit over here, and then, like, it... Kind of, it's kind of buckling on this side right here just a teeny tiny bit. All right. All right. So uh, let's go open it up and let's see what Hades Omega got this time around. All right. I will uh, we'll take everything out and then I'll go over uh, how much I bought them for um, and like what kind of figure it is. If it's like a pre-owned figure. So one of the good things about Amiami is that you they have like pre-owned figures. All right. That's what I love about Amiami. Um, they they buy and they sell figures, all right, but I don't think they buy from people in the U.S. Okay, so let's go open it up and then uh, take stuff out. Okay, I got Mr. Knifey here, all right, Knife's Coon. <laughs> We're going to go open it up. Okay, remember you should. Yeah, it's, it's probably it's safer if you cut away from you. <laughs> you guys. Oh, look at that. Here is uh, the um, Amiami illustration. All right. I guess this is for the month of. Oh, I cut it a little bit. Wow. Why did they have to put it up there, man? <laughs> I cut it. So when I when I sliced the box a little bit, it cut the cut the illustration. All right, but they're they're cat girls. It's a. Uh, Amiko and uh, Lilco, right? Fortunately, I cut it a little bit, but that's okay. All right, that's the illustration I got for that month. I think every month they come out with a new illustration. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the packaging paper. All right, they use the they just use paper for packaging material, and there it is. Oh, there's everything in there. Take a closer look. All right, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it looks like nothing is damaged. All right, there, there's a de there's a decent amount of space between the figures and the edge of the box. All right, I, I which one? There was one side that was most. Yeah, this one is damaged the most right here. So what we want to pay attention to is uh, the bottom of these figures. All right, the boxes. All right, but it looks like uh, yeah, no damage. Good job. Good job, good job, Amiami and the shipper. <laughs> it's a shipper, I mean, mostly, right? <laughs> but yeah, Amiami did a great job uh, packaging this box, all right? 
there's a there's that paper right there, right? And then lots of paper on the side here. Let's take it all out. Okay, oh there's another figure right there. Okay. Sure got everything in here nicely. Maybe they're pretty good at Tetris is what I wanna say. Pretty ample. Um, there's at least at like an inch around each of the the figure boxes. So that's good. I like that. Oh, that one is pretty close to the edge there. If there's just not enough space, you know, they put it really close. Like right here, it's not. It's really close though, like an inch. And this is where the most damage was. All right. So, okay, you can kind of figure out what figures I got already. You know. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start taking stuff out of the box one by one, and then uh, and then yeah, I'll put the box somewhere else, and then we'll take. Okay. Care of it. I'm gonna take this Kurumi figure out. All right. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna do it in the order that uh, I got it on the the receipt here. Okay, so I got this. This is KD Cole. I think it's Katakawa, right? Um, Data Live figure. It's pre-owned. All right. No, so notice uh, none of the figures in the box have plastic wrapping around it. I think if it's they have they put the plastic wrapping around it, it's like a brand new figure, right? But this one is pre-owned, which is funny because like it like just came out when I when I ordered it. So. I don't know how it could be pre-owned. Maybe it's like a, the, the box got damaged or something. Um, so this is a item A, all right? Box B. Yeah, A, B. Uh, KD Cole, Data Live 4, Kurumi Tokasaki, Calligraphic Beauty version, 1-7 scale. Okay, there it is. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, the box. So we're mainly going to be looking at the box. Hades Mega will do figure show and tell videos on this uh, in the distant future, as I want to say, okay? There it is. Oh, look at that. Hades Mega's a big fan of them Chinese dresses, right? <laughs> All my anime waifus have to wear them. <laughs> oh, it's damaged right here. Yeah, down there. Maybe that could be why it's box B. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, no, that might have got damaged from the, uh, let me see. Yeah, that could, this could have, uh, very well been damaged from the box, from the shipper. Alright, it's not too bad. I don't even know how that got damaged, man. That's kind of weird how that got damaged. Why would it be going like that? I don't even know where the impact is on this. Okay, but eh, it's not a big deal. It's not it's not on the front. That's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so I would say, you know, maybe that was the maybe that's why this figure is pre-owned, just because the box was damaged. Okay. Alright, let's set her aside. Let's get the next one. Alright. Uh next figure is a Beach Queens figure, alright? It's the Suguha. Alright, Kirigaya Suguha, right? From Sword Art Online. 110 scale swimsuit figure beach queens all right i don't think they make beach queens anymore but i saw i don't have a sugaha figure all right she's uh she's got big uh she's got big jugs <laughs> what's not to like and she's a little sister little sister type <laughs> okay looks like the box is in pretty good shape uh this is Beach Queen Sword Art Online Suguha Kirigaya 110 scale. Alright, and it's a, a B, item B, box B. Alright, so it's been taken out of the box, but it looks brand new to me, man. The box is in excellent shape, too. Okay, yeah, he says it down there, BB. Okay, alright, let's put that aside. Looks like no damage for that one. Okay, next figure. Is a Hyaka Ryoran Samurai Girls figure. There she is. All right, Sen Tokugawa. All right, actually, I don't have any Sen Tokugawa figures. This is my first one, and it's a swimsuit figure. Uh, yeah, I really like her swimsuits. They're very, uh, they're quite glamorous looking. <laughs> so it's there, all right? Okay, yeah, so this one is a item C. All right, so there's there must be some kind of damage to it. I can't remember what the damage was, um, but uh, so it's a C. C means there's some kind of damage to the figure, and then it's a box B, and uh, it's kind of an old figure, guys. Um, it's made by who? New Line? Yeah, it's made by a company named New Line. Never heard of them. <laughs> okay. 
but uh but there she is okay it looks like the box it's a box b doesn't box looks like it's in great shape okay so she got here nicely oh i haven't been gonna, going over to prices okay so ho so far we've got the kurumi figure and the kurumi figure was 13,480 yen i'll put subtitles below what the us conversion is okay um, and then the uh, the Beach Queen's Suguha is uh, 7,160 yen, okay? And then the uh, the Sen Tokugawa swimsuit figure is 3,850 yen. Wow, that's uh, cheap. I got a good deal on that one. <laughs> okay. All right, next one. We got another Hyaka Real Run Samurai Girls figure. All right, and that's with... Yagyu Jibe! <laughs> all right, I, yeah, I'm, I'm getting all these uh, swimsuit figures for uh, Samurai Girl. Samurai Girl is one of my favorite uh, girly enemies. That's <laughs> what say, all right. This is an actual Ami Ami produced figure. It says Ami Ami Zero, all right, of um, Yagyu Jibe from uh, Hyaka Real Run Samurai Girls, all right. This is a AB, okay, figure A, box B. Um, and this one was 7,180 yen. Okay, box looks like it's in great shape. Didn't get damaged from the shipping at all that I could see. All right, the edges are a little worn. And yeah, that's it. Looks 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 like it's in great shape. Okay. Okay, and now I've got a arpeggio of blue steel. Here it is, hiding here on the bottom. Right, hopefully not damaged. Okay, by the way, I'm wearing my Takao shirt because I knew I got it. I knew I would be getting a Takao figure. <laughs> by the way, okay, there, there's my Takao shirt. I got this in uh, Japan at an Animate store at Akihabara. Yeah, I saw it there. I was like, oh, I gotta have that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there's the there's the figure and there's my T-shirt. <laughs> He's the biggest big uh, Takao fan. Okay, one of my favorite waifu. All right, there it is. This is a fat company. Uh, mental model Takao, all right, one eighth scale. Uh, this is a AB, okay, AB, and this was a uh, this one was kind of expensive, nine thousand three hundred eighty. Yeah, that's about like seventy sixty sixty seventy dollars. Okay, looks like it's in great shape. Sorry for the glare and the camera, but there she is reading her book. Okay, there's a little scuffing. Yeah, there's some stuff here. It's a bee box, so. Okay, but it doesn't look like I got damaged from shipping at all. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I got a Konjiki no Yami, alright? Or just Yami. From uh, Turaburu. Alright, the Turaburu... I don't know. A Turaburu Darkness, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there she is. I, I saw this figure and I really wanted it. She looked, uh, she looked really cute. I, I love Yami's hair; it's so pretty. Um, okay, so uh, this is a pre-owned figure. Also, they're all pre-owned. It's an A B. All right, so I think A means uh, that she's never been taken out of the box, and B means there's something wrong with the box. Okay, so maybe it's a brand new figure that the uh, the box is damaged somewhere. All right, but this one looks like it's in good shape. Oh yeah, it's like buckling down here. Yeah, something pressed pressed on it right here. Where was it? That was on the side. Mm. Could that have been damaged during shipping? I don't know. That might that very well might maybe be why it's a B because other than that, it looks like it's it's brand new. It's it's in re great shape. It just has some very light box da box damage. All right, this is by CA Works. Okay, I think there is a Yui Kotagawa one, but I, I like this one better. So. Okay, um, she was 10,480 yen, all right? Somewhere around 80 bucks, all right? Okay, last figure. Dream Tech Cinderella, Idol Master Cinderella Girls Kaide Takigaki, okay? There she is. All right, the last one. Okay, so funny thing, guys, I ordered two of these figures and there's another one on the way. So <laughs> this is the one I got first, apparently. <laughs> That's by Wave also. It's another Wave figure. Okay, this is by Wave Corporation, just like the uh, the, the, the Beach Queens figures, all right? Um, this is the uh, 
Dream Tech. Yeah, Dream Tech. Why does it say Dream Tech? It says here Wave right here. But it says it's by a company, Dream Tech. Okay, so I guess, I don't know, maybe they have has something to do with Wave. Um, the Idol Master Cinderella Girls. It's called Uruwashi no Myoyaku. That's what the name of the figure is. Of uh, Kaide Takigaki. Okay. Um, I, I saw this figure and I was like, oh, I, I, you know, I'm not really the biggest Idol Master fan, but I thought she looked really hot in that nurse outfit. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so yeah, I actually have two of those. Okay, guys, sorry for the glare on some of the boxes, but uh, there there they are. All right, so uh, I ordered it. Uh, this figure shipment from uh, February 14th, 2023, and I got it yesterday, June 7th, 2023. It took almost four months for it to get to me, and I'm still wondering where the other one is. <laughs> okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures, all right. Uh, and they all, I, for the most part, I think they got to me undamaged. Uh, maybe some of them could be damaged, but it, the, if, the, if there is any kind of damage to the box, it's very light. All right, so um, Amiyami does it again. So all I have to say is uh, the Amiyami's track record of getting figures to me without them getting damaged or, or horribly damaged is really good. All right, and uh, these are all pre-owned figures. You figure there's probably something wrong with all the boxes. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's just normal, normal wear and tears, but <laughs> all right. Okay. So I, hopefully I'll, I'll get, uh, do a uh, figure show and tells for all these figures in the future. But, um, but there you go. All right. That, that's how, how it got to me, how, how the, the shipping that I used, we look, take a look at the box. Uh, Amiyami uses very good boxes. Okay. Those, the box can handle a lot of damage apparently. Okay. And they package it pretty well. Um, yeah, fortunately, hopefully, if you order something from Amiyami and you get that 160 size box, what was it? Once, yeah, the 160 box, um, your figures fit in there with a good, a decent air gap in there. All right. So what you want is like space around all the figures. If they just kind of Tetris everything in there, really tight, and there's not a lot of packaging material, then if something happens to the box, the figures are going to get damaged. All right. But yeah. It looks like uh, they got we got away without uh, any kind of damage, so I'm pretty happy. All right, it just took four months for them to get to me. That's the thing. So uh, Hayes Meg is thinking of uh, putting in another order soon. So <laughs> I know, right? All right, thanks for watching. Hayes Meg out. All right. Also, by the way, Ami Ami, don't leave these on the top of the box. So when people cut open the box, they'll cut this. All right, put it like on top of one of the figures or something. You know. But yeah, I like that cat girl illustration. It'll just put a, I could put a piece of tape over it, you know. <laughs> but yeah.